Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, there's my cat. So on Instagram I've been getting quite a few questions about the college system at the University of York as well as college stereotypes. So today I am going to be answering your questions and also going through each college stereotype to hopefully help you out a little bit. I don't know what stage you must be up to, I've kind of forgotten, so let me know in the comments. Have you already picked accommodation? Are you like picking colleges now? I don't know, let me know in the comments section below. But if you have any questions as well, I'm thinking of doing a Uni of York Q&A very soon. So you can also ask those in the comment section below. Also before we begin don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I also just want to quickly say what the college system actually is for anyone that doesn't know. So the Uni of York has a college system and not every uni has this. I think it's a really nice thing to like get integrated with different people. They hold a load of events and you do like sport competitions between different colleges. So I'm pretty sure they have nine colleges. One of them is Wentworth which is postgrad. so I probably won't talk much about that one in today's video but I definitely think it's a it's a benefit of coming to York the fact that they do have colleges it has like more of a community kind of feel I'm gonna just start off with going through my personal experience with the colleges talk about the college that I'm in as well as like I don't know my whole idea on stereotypes so if you don't already know I'm in Constantine College I actually applied with Vambra as my top choice and Constantine was nowhere to be seen in my choices of accommodation so I actually got accepted into the accommodation that I wanted in Vambra and then I woke up one day to a phone call I was on holiday in Spain and I had a phone call from the uni saying that my room had been given away because I didn't pay the deposit on time so big lesson here please read your emails because I didn't know that there was a deadline for the deposit I lost out on my top choice of Vambra and by that point a lot of the accommodation had been taken up so I didn't have many options left I was either asked to be in Fairfax I think it was or it might have been Halifax um, in a shared bedroom with someone else or I could be in Constantine and pay a little bit more. I've done that and luckily the student loan covers it. <laughs> so I will start off with Constantine. Uh, it's got quite a strong stereotype, but I do just wanna quickly say that I don't believe in these at all. Like they are just like a rough guide to go off. Nothing is set in stone. Like I don't believe that I'm part of this stereotype. I have seen people that like conform to the stereotype in my college, but I've also seen a lot of people that don't. So I don't really think it's like a strict guide and everyone in the college is different anyway but maybe this is just a rough sort of guide to go off but also don't take it too seriously or to heart okay <laughs> So I've seen this on York Memes, which is a meme account from the uni, so you should go follow it if you don't already. Constantine girls after seeing rooms in Campus West for the first time. I hate to admit, but I slightly have related to this in the past. As a Constantine girl, you know, I've got a double bed and an ensuite. It's like the high life. I'm, I'm quite lucky. I'm not like mean, but yeah, I get that meme. <laughs> Overall stereotype at Constantine is posh because it is the most expensive accommodation yeah you do get people there that are kind of rich <laughs> because obviously if you're rich you're gonna just get the best accommodation like i would if i was rich and i was choosing i remember being told when i was selecting the accommodation it constantine is for the posh girl that daddy buys the fiat 500 this is just summing up the time constantine girl start back private school yes a lot of yeah private school um they're my granddad's private jets, I <laughs> love that. Obsessed with TikToks about how posh they are, I've seen a few of those. Um, buys Prosecco in Salvos, <laughs> that is not me. And yes, netball is a big thing in Constantine. I feel like the netball girls, Constantine girls, you know, that's where it's at. And then the boys start a pack, okay, yeah, kind of agree to this with the AirPods and the rugby. The rugby is like the posh sport. Our second home in Italy, yep, I, I can relate to that in my flat. I'm just jealous though, like, I'm not being mean. I just wish it was me having a second home in Italy. Law, business, science is typical degrees. You know, that is the stereotype. Okay, I'm just gonna go through them randomly. Next up, I'm gonna do with Halifax because to be honest, I don't even know a lot about Halifax. I feel like it's just not that known. Um, I had to ask where Halifax was. So it's actually between Campus West and Campus East. Once um, we got a bus to Halifax by mistake, like the wrong bus. Um, and it is just like similar sort of flats, you know. It's smaller than like Constantine. Uh, but yeah, I would say it's not the most known. Okay, this is their stereotype. Halifax Freshers meeting each other, clown convention. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. So what I'm getting from this is like, ugh, I don't know, I can see those Scouse brows. I don't know, sort of like chav. Is that what they're trying to represent? I feel like I'm just being mean in this video. But again, remember that it's just a stereotype and I assure you like when you get there, 
if you are not this stereotype, there will be other people that aren't this stereotype 100%. From what I'm gathering from reading something here, um, Halifax is for people that have got in through clearing maybe, but also other people can pick it. It is sort of like the cheaper option of accommodation, which is always a positive. So they don't have a college bar here and it's known as a quiet accommodation. We're gonna go with Alquin College now. Alquin College is like near the library. So I remember being told that it was the quiet college and like people say it's boring. One of my friends has said that she thinks that doctors live there. So people maybe do medicine. Um, are in Alquin College but then on the other side of that my friend Emma who's at Alquin she loves a good night out like definitely isn't quiet she's a Geordie what, you know she's loud <laughs> so that is sort of Alquin summed up sort of so from what I know about James College it's just sort of like a nicer college I'm pretty sure they have more modern rooms and um, they've got like a bar which is called the lounge um, which is attached to them sort of like the food area of James College. We have a starter pack here for James College boys who are A star, type A personality. A ladies man on the outside but still a mum's boy on the inside. Fair enough. I don't know much about James College to be honest. Oh no, I do feel like I I remember these being like sort of the laddie kind of people. I chose James because it's closest to the gym. I am pretty sure there's also a block in James which is like called the prison block because it, it kind of looks like a prison. Um, so, you know, you've got your nice side and a bit of a dodgy side. <laughs> okay, let's get into Derwin. I feel like there's quite a lot to say about Derwin. I think from the outside, it, it's college sort of isn't as like nicely kept as other colleges. It's a bit grotty and, um, you know, there's a bit of a rumour about asbestos. But it's also known to be like the massive party college um, that are kind of like partying all the time, up all night sort of thing. But then again, I also know people there that are just doing the normal college life in Derwent so again it is just a stereotype but it is known to be sort of like the more outgoing party-ish college. It also says here that they have a high presence on the sports field which I wasn't aware of but yeah here's a picture of Derwent just for reference <laughs> and a starter pack of Derwent College so they have the courtyard which is a really nice place to go and eat um, so that is a big plus of the college and um, the craziest parties and lots of geese. And I don't know what that is in the corner. Should I know? Is that asbestos? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> or a duck that's died. <laughs> right, so the next one I'm going to do is Langwith. This is a college that is also on East Campus with Constantine and Goodrich. I know a few girls in Langwith um, and they're really nice. And I do think it is sort of like another posh sort of college similar to Constantine because it is just more expensive. So you do just get more posh people living there but not always. I asked a few of my friends about Langwith, they think that Langwith is known to be a bit bouncy, like apparently there's quite a lot of parties going on, um, but I think it also, from my perspective, is like girl heavy, but I don't know if I'm completely wrong in that. That's probably just because I only know girls from there. It's not that much different to Constantine actually, but in terms of inside the houses, they always have had nicer kitchens. Um, they have like a massive sofa um, and TV and just more space in the kitchen than we do. And in Langworth they have like little houses block things. Um, so it's not all like a massive block of flats. I think that's dead cute. And I have just been told that they all get sofas that are quite big and nice in the kitchen, whether that's ensuite or shared bathroom. So I think Langworth is quite a nice choice of college. Next up I'm going to do Goodrick, which is the final college on Campus East. I think Goodrick is a bit forgotten about. Again, not something I know loads of stereotypes about. Maybe seen as a little bit boring and sort of just like the forgotten college. A few of you asked me questions about Goodrick because you said that it just doesn't even exist. <laughs> yeah, the main thing is that they don't exist. And also, um, apparently there's a thing about them screaming. Apparently Goodrick is haunted. I think it is a little bit of a ghost town as you walk through Goodrick, but to be fair, that's probably the same as all of Campus East. The final college that I'll go through and then I will answer your questions is Vambra. This is the college that I wanted to be in. I think it's known as being more sporty and party. I like a nice little balance. The kitchens in Vambra, I just remember to be so spacious. They don't have sofas. I'm pretty sure they don't have TV um, and that might only be like the premium accommodation that does that. I just remember them to be really spacious and really good for parties. I think it's a bit more like of a cool college. Um, used to be a bit of a nerdy school. So I I think it is like a balance between working but also social life and they do have quite a good social life. Okay now it's time to answer a few of your questions. Someone says here Constantine are snobby. I don't think you should judge someone like before you know them like get to know everyone I'm sure 
you will find people that you really like from Constantine. They're not all crazy posh, um, but even if they are posh, they can still be nice and not snobby. So that is my answer to that assumption. Does Goodrick exist here? Yeah, there you go. It does exist, but it's not that known. What is the best college to be in? I mean, I'd have to be biased and say the one I'm in, otherwise that'd be really sad. Constantine is always on nights out. I feel like they do go out quite a lot, but I also know that like not every night, so they're not always on nights out just sort of when they want to really. I feel like that's the same with every, every college though. Final question that I got, are you still part of the college system even in second year? Yes, you are. Um, you stay in the college system uh, throughout your whole time at York, which I think is really nice, the fact that you're always sort of within a college. So that is everything for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you wanna know about the Uni of York. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.